Let's have a look at our blend tools now. And these are going to let us kind of kind of smear two colors together. If uh, maybe we're painting, we'll use this a little bit more. So I'm going to clear this image. And uh, actually, I'll just get a new canvas. So close and do not save, file new. And there we go. All right, so the blend tool, let me just put down some colors so we can see what we're doing. And if you're doing this along with me, which I suggest you do, let's uh, put these colors right next to each other. Any two colors is fine, as long as they're a little different. And then I'll just zoom in on the border, because that's where we're interested in with our blurring. And yeah. Okay, so the blend tools are going to be right here, these kind of two teardrops. Click on them and we get a variety of options. And all of them, these first five, the last one's a little different, but these first five just mix two colors in slightly different ways. And there are, again, a qu quite a few options that we have here and over here a lot more. And basically they're just going to, like I say, blend. And let's take a look at how they work in general, but this is again something you can get wildly different results out of by how you tweak this. So I'm going to work along this border right here and just kind of lightly blend. So this one's pretty, pretty strong. I can already tell the, but if we turn the brush density down, other things down, we, we get slightly different results. It's still pretty strong. So yeah. This one is definitely one of the stronger tools, at least in this setting. And if you go over it long enough, you'll get this kind of mishmash of uh, blurring. I don't cl claim to be the best uh, blender. It's not one of my favorite ways of coloring because I don't, I tend to do like a faster style of coloring that doesn't this is just way too much work but definitely if you're painting you gotta learn these tools got to all right so that is one of them I'm, I'm not going to keep going with it and you can do obviously a much finer more detailed job just by tweaking things so you're not the only way you're going to learn this are by using them so just go to it okay the next one is blur i'm going to undo this by Control z until i get it back to normal Going back. If I go too far, oh, actually it won't let me go back any further. But if I want to go forward, I can press Control Y. But just Control Z goes back, Control Y redoes it. All right, the next one is blur, and again we'll zoom in. Just a different kind of mixing. Fingertip is. You know, it tries to get more like a uh, kind of a child's fingertip painting in kindergarten, something like that. This really treats the color more like paint. Next one, running color on fiber. It's going to be kind of like a brush look, like kind of like a sponge or something. Definitely has a wetter look to it. And then finally, soothing watercolor. Uh, let me undo this. And this really kind of yeah, turns it, kind of gives it kind of a watercolor look. So there's a variety of options, and you can become a master of each of these if you really want to. Okay, so the different one, let me undo this a little. Okay, so the one that's slightly different is copy stamp, and it's going to give you a circle that you can use to kind of cut a piece of your picture and then you're going to be able to start it again on a different part of the picture. So if I click right here, it's just going to tell me that you have to actually press Alt while you're doing it and that's how you set your original copy. So I'm going to hold down the Alt button, which is right next to the space bar. And then when I see that cross, those crosshairs, that's how I know that it's able to now cut. So I'm going to press it right here and I got it. And then I'm going to release over here. So I, I'm no longer pressing alt and I can press and it'll copy it. And if I keep doing it, it's actually slightly different each time because 
it's kind of recreating that whole section of the page. You see, and if, I, and if I keep doing this long enough, it'll make a complete copy of what I had over here. So it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Now, if I don't want it to do that, if I just want it to cut and do the same thing every time, then I need to uncheck this box right here. And now when I make a copy, again, I press Alt, I get those crosshairs and then I click and I'll click right here where there's like three colors or the white background, if you count that as a color. And now when I click, it's going to be the same every time, no matter what. So that is a slightly different uh, effect when you have this unchecked. And you can make further tweaks down here as always. So those are your blend tools, all very helpful tools.